January 15th, 2019. And uh, yeah, that's yeah. the we have the artwork hanging yeah. out in my house. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I love the. Everybody knows I love Michael Myers is my boy, yes. and uh, I'm pretty excited that uh, they're getting the steelbook treatment. Yeah. For this new movie, it's really good. If you haven't went to see it, it's still slaying the fucking box office. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's over 250 million now. So for a horror movie, that's really that's really something, you know. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, especially nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. With all the piracy going on. <laughs> yeah. Like, mm-hmm. He's he's uh he's got a following. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm happy about that. But yeah, January 15th, pick up Best Buy exclusives Steelbook for Halloween. Doesn't that seem pretty fast? Yeah, but movies. it's like, fuck it. I, I'm ready to watch it at home. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. They're like, it, fuck it. Okay, so today I was, what? well, I went to my fucking Google Play. Yeah. And I, uh, what did I buy? I bought something. I bought a movie. I forgot what fucking movie. Oh, Closer. <laughs> mm-hmm. With uh, Natalie. Natalie Portman. Really? Yeah. That's yeah. right. I know it. <laughs> Well, I well, <laughs> we'll go. We'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> but um, so I saw that um, they're already starting uh, reservations to get uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. I think that's the thing now is, uh, you know, in the early two thousands. It was the thing that it took like almost a year mm-hmm. before you would see anything hit video. Yeah. And there would be this long pause where you wouldn't hear about a movie. You'd forget about it and then it'd be like, oh, it's coming out on video now. And now it's, it seems like two months or, or if not faster mm-hmm. for something that's a smaller budget, they're already out. Yeah. They're cranking them out, you know. It's like they want to make that money back as soon as possible with the video release, yeah. I guess. But yeah, that is true. That it's uh, very, very fast. From like Black Panther was still playing in the theaters when it, when it was on, released yeah. on video, which is crazy. It is. You can go watch it in theaters and then Have when you're done, go home and go watch home it on your TV. TV. Yeah, it's like crazy. It is cool because it's. Uh, I always hated that wait. Mm-hmm. You know, for, uh, from a collecting standpoint, yeah. you're like, well, I want to watch it at home now. Mm-hmm. You know, I saw it. But, um, yeah, that's very interesting point. Yeah. Uh, what else do I have? The Deadwood stuff that you spoil. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, movies that are dropping on uh, video this week. Yes. So today's Tuesday. Black Klansman. But, yeah. Uh... Christopher Robin. Yep. The Incredibles 2. Yes. Steelbook at, on, at Best Buy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Pretty cool cover. Uh, Black Klansman, if you haven't seen it, check that out yes. as soon as you can. It's very important, very relevant. Yeah. Especially because uh, everybody just voted. Mm-hmm. We hope you Hopefully. voted out there. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Go watch that. I, I can't wait to watch uh, Christopher Robin. I was hoping yeah. to see it, watch it earlier today, but uh, <laughs> the day got away from me. Yeah. <laughs> it's boating season. <laughs> it is boating season. But I think uh, I think that's it because we already talked about Black Mask. Yes. yes. So um, yeah, we're good. Let's jump into the weekly Rex. And now it's time for the weekly recommendations. All right, James, you got anything? Uh, yeah, I got uh, two, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, my first one is uh, Cowboy Bebop. It's an anime. Oh, nice. Yeah. Haven't, uh, okay. I really haven't watched it in, in a, quite a while. Such a good show. Yeah. I think it was like one of the big, for me, mm-hmm. I know for me, and it was one of the biggest like out of anime that we kind of saw that mm-hmm. was like really big and out there. Yeah. And you really have to follow that show because if one episode you miss and then you're like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. I'm like, wait, what happened? <laughs> but yeah, um, I, I I watched a lot of growing up. Yeah. But I haven't recently watched it. But um, it's I know they have the complete season or the complete series on uh, at, at Walmart or Target. Oh, nice. The whole set. Oh really? On uh, Blu-ray, it's pretty cheap too. I think it's like twenty-five bucks or something. Oh, what the fuck? It's I like need super to go cheap. Best Buy. <laughs> It's super cheap, so uh, if you, if you're interested in that and you want to go back to when you were younger, Were, weren't they discussing and doing a live action movie? I heard about that too, yeah. But I don't know if that I don't know if it just they just. Quit. I'm sure that's coming sometime. Yeah, everything's gonna. Be fucking <laughs> a lot of people are gonna complain about that one too. Yep. If whitewashing this anime. Yep. But um, yeah, so check that out, um, Cowboy Bebop. It's pretty cool. 
um, and my next one is, and this one's probably not really too popular with a lot of people, but it's uh, Tron Legacy. But, I love um, it. I love. I thought it was really cool. Oak or I mean, that's a really good. Well, I mean, because I'm a huge Def Def Punk fan. Yeah. And and it, watching it this this movie <laughs> that we or the documentary or whatever it's called that we watched uh, really made me uh, think about that movie and it's, yeah. I really enjoyed it and um, it's basically the sequel to the the first Tron movie so um, yeah check that one out it's pretty good um, it's Daft Punk plays they composed the whole score for that movie yeah. I think. And they so, actually come out in the movie. Yeah, they're in it, I think, for like a minute or two. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty cool to see them in the movie. Um, but yeah, I, I really like that movie, too. It's uh, It was a Disney movie, so... It was, um, well, I think, because it didn't do very well, which yeah. is why it never got its third... It was supposed to. There was, right after, they, I know they were talking about... They wanted to do another one. Mm-hmm. And now, I don't know if this has been canned since we talked about it, but I think it's being rebooted with Jared Leto. Oh yeah, that's right. Tron. Yeah. Um, but this one was a great movie. I don't know why people it didn't really take, but uh, Jeff Bridges is really good. Yeah. Um, I forget what Gareth Hudley. Yeah, he's always really really good. Yeah. Even though he kind of looks different, they made him look more like a pretty boy in this mm-hmm. in this one. But yeah, fucking Tron Legacy. I went to see it in 3D, mm. and it was amazing. Because it, it's dark. It yeah. was like Disney really not care, like letting oh, yeah. this director kind of do his thing and is fun and, and weird and the fucking music. Like when you're in the theater, hearing that soundtrack is it's amazing. like perfect it's for amazing. it. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Especially the, you know, the way everything is. It's like, you know, like you're in this computer, the grid. Yeah. And it totally fits that the soundtrack and score and everything totally fits that, uh, that element. Yeah. It's so they. I mean, they knew what they were doing, getting Daft Punk, you know, to do it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just their music alone just makes everything just mm-hmm. pop out even more. Besides, yeah. it's vi- visually stimulating. Yeah, it just makes it pop out yeah. even more. It's just, I don't know. For me, I I love that movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And I got to go to Disney when they had the tro- uh, tro- oh, I went there too. Thing. Yeah, the little like the area, <laughs> the little club thing. So did I. Yeah, that was really cool. <laughs> I was like, wow, they really did this for this movie. That makes that gives me hope in the world. Yeah, but, but uh, yes, yeah, those are my two. I wanted the identity disc. Oh, those so are bad, yeah, so dope. Yeah, but I just wanted the suit. Just walk around in the suit at night. <laughs> Every just day. have like all like, just like outlined and shit. That'd be sick. <laughs> Like yeah, what's up, dude? What's up? Just on the bus at night, <laughs> looking. Hey, what's up, man? I'm assuming somebody somewhere already fucking made it. Oh yeah, oh well, probably. I mean, there's. I know you can do it with like LED yeah, lights, lights and lights. like. They had a Tron motorcycle suit, mm-hmm. like specifically for riding, which was really cool. That's uh, dope. And then there's multiple. I'm sure like people that'll make you a suit if you guys are interested for like uh, two grand <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah those are my two wrecks um, I don't know what do you got uh, closer with yes. Natalie Portman Clyde Owen mm-hmm. uh, no Sandra no Julia Roberts Julia Roberts there you go I know a lot of people are like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? But they kind of, to me, they look fucking... No, yeah, I, I did it too. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's a really good movie, man. If you've never seen Closer, it's a really good love story. Well, I mean... It's like an erotic thriller yeah. type uh, film. Yeah. And it, it, it really, that's... Um, that's really one of the first movies I saw of, of its kind like mm-hmm. that. That never kind of was like... It's like a never-ending love story kind of thing. So, yeah, I would recommend that movie. That movie is really good if you're really into lo- uh, love movies mm-hmm. and and mystery because it does have a mystery to it. Okay. And it has like it's like a really weird triangle. Mm-hmm. Uh, another one that I would recommend, which I was watching uh, not that long ago, it's actually a documentary on uh, Lucha Libre okay. that's on Netflix. I think it's called Lucha, and okay. it's a couple, it's like five episodes, and it goes into depth about how um, pro wrestling is done in Mexico mm-hmm. and, and why we why they do it, and this trick, because uh, down there they still have um, 
uh, athletic commission you have to go through mm. to be a pro wrestler, okay. to get a license. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. I mean, to me, uh, down there, they still believe pro wrestling <laughs> is, is real. Yeah. But, I mean, the hits you get, the bumps, everything in between. Even, like, the impacts and stuff. Yeah, and it's, the, it, the, it, the it does hurt. Yeah. It does hurt. It's a toll on you. Yeah, but for... But down there, for some reason, it's like in Japan. They just they just think it's real. Yeah. They just think it's 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 the best shit. But I would recommend those. Um, those two. Those two. Okay. Yeah. Is it a Netflix original or is it just? It's just a on Netflix, Netflix original okay. one, actually. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Which is it caught me off guard because I was like, whoa, Netflix is like getting getting into this, this the Latino market. Yeah. Have well. you seen? Uh, they just came off of it. I don't know if it just released because it. it I would turn on my Xbox and went to Netflix and it was like a, you know, like a spotlight a certain movie or whatever that's mm-hmm. coming out. It was uh, John Leguizamo's uh, Latino history for me- uh, for morons. Oh wow! It's, uh, it's a stand up special, I guess, and he's but he's dressed up like a professor and he's writing on a chalkboard. He's like, Mayans were fifteen hundred BC, and then we get all the way over here to our time and he's like this was the Mayan period and over here this is uh, the, the pit bull period <laughs> he's like that's our era now he's like what the fuck happened between then and now like what and then but I mean it was just it looks pretty interesting I haven't seen it yet but uh, that was the trailer and I was like oh it looks pretty funny yeah I need, but, to, I need to see that guy fucking makes me laugh like yeah. crazy dude him and Dave Chappelle I say would make me laugh like fucking crazy yeah maybe a little bit Joe Rogan but <laughs> Joe Rogan's pretty funny. I've yeah. watched uh, both of his specials on Netflix. They're pretty good. Because he's just a maniac. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a, he that's has his structure. Thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He has a structure with his comedy. Like, fucking Dave Chappelle talks about one shit and then comes back to it. At mm-hmm. the end. He, 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 like, depresses you and then comes about, like, full circle into something that, like, makes you happy again. Yeah. I don't know. He just... He's fucking talented, dude. Yeah. They all are, to yeah. be honest. Um, what do you got for Rex, Wes? Okay, so my first one is it's now streaming on HBO. Okay, it's a uh, Knockaround Guys. Okay, from two thousand one. It I, it only has a twenty one on Rotten, which is weird because this fucking cast is actually really good. It's got uh, Vin Diesel in it in a really good like serious role. Mm. Uh, Barry Pepper, John Malkovich, Seth Green, Dennis Hopper, and uh, Tom Noonan from Last Action Hero. Okay. Yeah. Are you have you guys seen it? I haven't. No, I haven't. It's a. Uh, it feels. I guess you could say it's. It's old enough to be a classic, but it's got this kind of uh, Scorsese esque mm-hmm. style to it, mm-hmm. where you f- kind of follow this uh, this kid of a, a notorious wise guy, pretty much, okay. and he uh, he kind of grows up and he's uh, haunted by the stigma of his dad's profession. Yeah. Right? Everybody thinks that uh, you know if they hire him, they're going to get strong armed <laughs> or you know hurt yeah. or whatever. So then he's kind of going through. Life, um, you know, having having troubles, and he finally goes like, you know what? If if people are gonna treat me like this, I want you to bring me on the inside, Dad. Like I want to work for you. Yeah. So then he uh, he gets his buddies together, who are uh, Vin Diesel, Seth uh, uh, Seth Green, and a couple other dudes. And Seth Green and Vin Diesel in one movie. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, and it's it's pretty good, man. <laughs> oh, man. It's weird, uh, but anyway. So Seth Green is like a as a pilot, mm-hmm. and he uh, he's basically sent to go pick up the this uh, heroin or whatever you have, mm-hmm. or, and money mm-hmm. or some, uh, I guess money, and uh, he he loses it at the airport. Oh, okay. So he he kind of tries to stash the bag because he sees these cops in the airport and he freaks out and he's like oh. They're going to catch me, right? So he stashes it, and someone else finds the bag before he can come back Mm -hmm. to get it. And then he puts that friend in this really big uh, predicament where uh, then his dad gets mad, and he sends his guys out to this uh, place. And it's this big clusterfuck (laughs) of a movie, but it really works. It's fun. Uh, Vin Diesel's actually a lot better than you've probably seen. Mm -hmm. In his recent roles, yeah, okay. you know, because he's not driving a car, he does the same shit over and over again. The yeah. Chronicles of Reddick, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pitch black. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Me at Knock Around Guys is really good. And since we're doing uh, anime recommendations, I want to talk about Afro Samurai. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Nice. Another classic. Yeah. With uh, Samuel Jackson. Yeah. You got the score done by the RZA mm-hmm. from the Wu-Tang Clan. Yes. You guys should check that out. There's Afro Samurai and then Afro Samurai Resurrection mm-hmm. for a sequel. I think they're both Spike TV uh, original films. Yeah. yeah. And you can get them, I think, on Blu-ray and DVD. Mm-hmm. Uh, some.